about to watch is genuine footage from our investigations. No manipulation, no fakery, just real footage by real investigators. Viewer discretion is advised. I am, yeah. Peterborough Museum was built in 1816 on foundations of an earlier property. The cellars of this property still remain. First a residential home, then from 1857 to 1928 it became Peterborough Infirmary, treated wounded soldiers from the First World War. This building also had a major fire, finally becoming a museum in 1931. Paranormal claims, poltergeist activity, apparitions of a little girl, a Roman soldier, World War I soldier, maid that died on the back staircase, strange noises, disembodied voices. Hi everyone, uh, this is Steve from HBI. Tonight we're doing an investigation in Peterborough in the United Kingdom and this is currently Peterborough Museum which we are very lucky to be investigating. It's an absolutely beautiful building. There's been, um, there's been a building on this plot of land for a very very long time, um, not in this original form. So let's go in. It's an amazing property. When I was in this sort of reception area earlier, I came across a gentleman with a stick, but he was like from modern era, and he was quite active here. So I'm hoping that I'm going to pick something from, from him tonight. We've got a coffee shop through there. I've had a quick look around in there, but I didn't pick anything up. minutes ago when I was having a walk around with Gemma and suddenly felt really emotional. Uh, I was standing over here and there is a female present in here, very, very upset and calling for help. Um, it was just a, a very much an overwhelming emotional experience for me. She clearly doesn't know that she's passed over and she's trying to find a way out. So I might have to give her a little bit of help later. It was very, very upsetting for me. I'm not quite sure the circumstances of why she's here, uh, but she was asking for my help. She was actually went down on her knees as I was leaving and was, was begging me to help her. Okay. Um, so I will have to deal with that okay. a bit later on. Okay. Okay. So was she a part of this building, Steve, or is she coming from somewhere else? Um, I feel that um, there is some link to this building because there is a. There's a male there as well, and there seems to be some sort of link between them. Right. But he didn't seem that friendly. Okay. I've been here about two or three times already, just having a 
tuned in, but not actually felt anything at all in here right, so far. Okay. Uh, so maybe a bit later we'll come down with you in a vigil and see if we can get anything. Good up. Okay, so this is coming through to the servants' area. There is a servant staircase uh, above us that has actually been closed off here. Um, there's actually a fairly bad feeling on that staircase. Uh, I need to look at that a bit later, but I, I'm sure that something happened there. Uh, that would have been just above us here and would have come down here. Uh, and this takes us through to the kitchen area. When I came through here earlier with Gemma, it's absolutely pitch black in here, but you can see it's on night vision. Just watch where I'm going. Um, there's a big range over here. Um, now, there was a character in here that popped up and he was quite agitated that we'd arrived. And he was um, deformed um, physically. Uh, but I felt that he had a role here. He wouldn't have been seen in the main house. And I believe it's something to do with animals. He, he either milked some animals or tended some animals. That's what he kind of imparted information onto me. Uh, he wasn't nasty towards us, but initially he told us to get out. He, he became very agitated, but he has come to look up down a lot now. Okay. Okay, so in here earlier, I've seen a very, very wealthy gentleman. Uh, I've seen him a couple of times around the building. Uh, he, I would say he's pre-Victorian. Uh, he's in a, a very posh sort of hat and like a velvet type suit. Um, incredibly well groomed. Uh, very sort of um, a powerful man, but actually very friendly. Uh, he's been curious. He hasn't really spoken, but he's been very curious about what we're doing. Okay. Uh, he was standing in that doorway looking at me and Gem when I was up here earlier. Okay, so this um, is the Victorian Operating Theatre. Original. <laughs> I'm sure so far what to make of this room. Um, I haven't really got any thoughts at the moment on it. Obviously it's set up kind of to look a bit like an operating theatre. This, this was the operating yeah. theatre? they sort of set it up to, you know, remind people of what it was. <laughs> at the moment, um, not really getting much in particular from it. Uh, but it's, uh, it's early on in the evening, yeah, we start the uh, investigation, hopefully something will uh, show itself to us. Um, I'm aware that we're not alone here. Um, there is a female spirit in this corner of the room. I feel that there's somebody at this doorway as well, gentlemen. Just kind of like a like a butler type person. So that, that room's quite interesting actually. I, okay. think, I think we'll come and have a look at that, definitely. Okay. Has it? Yeah, just let it be. Um, sure it might be on a continuous we'll thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, which way? I'll go that way. Well, oh, that's the stairway, but yeah. this is the stairway. Okay, right through here. <coughs> a strange smell, isn't there, in here? 
can't, I can't really put my finger on what the smell is. Now this uh, would have been the servant's uh, staircase. So Lee, when you came in here earlier, you felt a bit strange, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I felt you really I like I was going to like kind of topple over. Yeah. Um, really quite panicky as well. Mm. I'm getting a strong feeling of vertigo, you know, and you just don't want to get yeah. to the edge of something. Yeah. It's, that's why it's whether, it, whether it's because <coughs> how our steep and narrow the staircase is, but I just yeah. feel really like, oppressive in here. I think it's really <coughs> oppressive. Things I said to you, I'm getting panicky. The fact that Steve is going that close. Yeah. <coughs> I, so I've been in here earlier after you'd said that and had a sort of a look. Um, I feel... I felt that something was... Something happened, something was hanging off here. I really need to have a look at this later and see. But something happened. I'm not sure if somebody tried to hang themselves or somebody went over. But it, there's something something happened here definitely, so we'll come back and look at that. I'm just going to say something really daft. If you're standing here, I just get the feeling and I'm panicked, someone's going to come running behind me, just do that. Right. It's just, it's odd. Maybe it is vertigo, I don't know. Could be, I don't know. Yeah, that's alarm's gone off again. <coughs> okay. Cheer with you. Right, let's go have a look at that later. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was weird. I think I've just caught like a strange shadow move across the stairs. Okay. Did any of you, you didn't move at all, have you? No, 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 no I've been no, moving. Thing is, it's it's not casting, your shadow is not casting here. The only shadow I swear to God, I've just seen a shadow move down that staircase. What was it? No. No, there was no We've already gone through there. Because that light is going to make all the shadows go behind us. So, where did you see it? It was here, and it kind of moved like that yeah. and disappeared. That's exactly what I've seen the man doing as he came down. He came down behind you, like a little gap behind. Yeah. If you've just showed yourself on these stairs in front of me as, as a shadow or you've cast a shadow, could you do it again for me, please? Could you walk towards me? Is he still there, Steve? Yeah, he is. The only thing I can think of it being is lens flare from the light. Mm -hmm. Well, then why would that, that's creating a light though? It's not creating a shadow. <coughs> See, that looks like movement on the stairs, but that's lens flare. It might have been that. I'm not sure. I'll have to review it. Yeah, have a review of that. Okay. You've got a warm bum. It's cold. <laughs> You're going to get a little bit of IR flare off the shiny tiles. Off of this? Off this tile? No, off this tiles. The green ones, yeah. uh, they're probably um, security sensors. So they're sensors, yeah. yeah. They, they come on when you move. They could be motion sensors. Or they could be. Um, they are blinking, though. Yeah, they could be smoke detectors as well. No, it's not seeing. You're not seeing things, don't worry. I am 
name's Lee, we've got Stu and Rob. Don't mean you any harm, we're just here to try and communicate with you, get to know who you are. But there's so many people that pass through here on a day-to-day -day basis that don't even know that you're here, and don't acknowledge you. It may sound like a silly thing to ask you to do, but we can't see you and we can't hear you if you're trying to talk to us, but our devices might detect you. We just want to know who you are. This is your opportunity to talk, to let us know who you are. What are you doing here? start to hear and feel what appears to be static electricity. The team could not find a logical reason for hearing and feeling this. The CAM microphone clearly picks the static noise up. And his Tascam digital recorder also captures this noise. It doesn't happen again in this area or throughout the investigation. Paranormal? You decide. Any spirits in this room with us? Peterborough. Did you hear that? Yes. Well, it's the second time I've heard it. It sounds like static electricity. The last four seems to not look black. Go across the floor. It might have been shadow, but it looked more than shadow. It literally sounded like electricity. It did. It was like, yeah. 
I thought it was something. I thought it was Peter because I've got the, the, the sound recorder running the headphones. I, I've never heard that noise before though. No. Oh, that's that's the same time it's a stupid again. I've never heard it before. It was from your direction while we were around it. I, I wondered, because I'm not wearing headphones. I wonder if I was just hearing it through the headphones. No, and we all heard it loud and clear. I, I heard it about two minutes before it happened again. It sounds like a hard drive. Like a subject. A bit like a um, stun gun. Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah, not that's a bit of a film like those, but you know. Okay. I had those a couple of months ago. Right, okay, so was that you trying to affect the equipment? See like that there. It was blacker, just a like a not a sugar, just a low of the ground. Mm. So the lady that I saw here not very long ago, would you like to come back? Tell me why you were here. What is it I need to help you with? Please come forward. You can come and talk to me. We have some equipment that can Pick up your voice. Can you affect one of us in the team here? Make your presence known to us. I tell you what, I, I'm, my head is absolutely, feels like electricity coming out. There's definitely a presence next to Andy. Can you come forward from around that corner? You're sort of lurking. Come out, come out wherever you are. Male figure. You link to this. Ow. Ow. Wow. That's like, that's like real static on my hand. The back of my hand. Like, like you've brushed a nylon sheet. That really hurt. That was really powerful. No, like clattering from out there. I heard something. Sorry, Steve. It's okay. So, is that you trying to affect us? What did you do here? Are you able to tell us? Are you linked to this lady that I've seen? There was a noise again. Yeah. Was that noise? Yeah, yeah. Was that you? Was it your camera? It literally sounds like it's coming from inside my headphones. Is it static? It, just like that. It, there's, there's, there's something really... I've never felt this like feeling of like static. I wonder if that's affecting your, your equipment as well. <laughs> told us that you died falling down the stairs, is that true? Yes. Tell me like yes, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, quite a lot of radio interviews. Yeah, not there, I've never heard so much. Probably because we're at the top of the building, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it off because I want to it we hit, we could be missing Informed stuff that we could hear with our own ears. I can find the off button for the speaker. No, I've got it. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus, is that you? <laughs> No, it wasn't. Okay, you've come in to join us now. Thank you very much. Hello. Right, I'm just going to do the same movement and again.
I think that's thing we've got to eliminate with that now is if vibration does trigger it off much. Yeah? And then it would well, be more over time, wouldn't it? I've just done exactly the same movement again and it's not gone off. Okay, who's come down with this then? Hello. Are you the poor young soul that was killed? It's actually here? gone very, very cold. Okay. On this bit here, it really is a lot colder in the last couple of seconds. If that's you that's trying to join us, if you're trying to make us aware that you're here, by using that box that lights up and makes a very, very loud noise, if you could do that again for us, that would be fantastic because we need to know whether it is you or whether it's us moving about. If you could go near that box, you see the, the big sticks coming out the top of it. If you could go near that, it will make a noise. Sorry if it scares you, it scares us. Me moving. I don't know what that be, but it must be one of their alarms, you know. Yeah, go there. It must there. be. Come on, please come forward. We really don't mean you any harm. As we said earlier, we are here to tell your story. Do you want people to know who you were? Yeah. And there's just been something tapped behind the door. I'm right. I mean, that just says emergency exit. It doesn't lead to outside because it's not cold enough. I don't know what's on the other side of the door. I can't there's a tap on the other side of the door. Please come and talk to us, please tell us, maybe tell us your name. Maybe tell us what you did here. It really would mean a lot to myself and Lee if you could interact with our devices. There's only the two of us here. So there's not a big crowd, we're not gonna ask you to Tick tables or move glasses or perform hard tricks. Steve picked up a lady here. Okay. Um, and this what really upset him earlier, and she was begging him to help because she was afraid. Okay. And what she got on her knees and begged her, begged him to help her. What is it you're afraid of? If if you don't tell us we not saying we can help, but if we can better understand. Because we do have Steve, who has a gift, which means he can see you and communicate with you. Which is a gift that myself and Lee don't possess, which is why we have to rely on these gadgets. Oh, is that your breathing? Curse. That's my breathing, I'm just breathing normally. Do we get it? I could have sworn I heard faintly, and I know it could be a suggestion, but a woman's voice really yeah, faint. Yeah, that's what I heard. Please talk to us, please. We, we beg you to talk to us. You might not be aware that we can't, that's right, it's that we can't see you. So you might be able to see us, but we can't see you. And we can't hear you if you're trying to talk to us. That's why we have these devices on the floor, that if you go and touch them, it will alert us to the fact that you are here and you are trying to communicate. 
Steve said it was a, a lady in a nighty, like a nightgown. I, I wonder if it's a patient that's died on the operating table. Possibly. And has kind of left suddenly, and now he's left wandering around these corridors, not knowing what's going on or why she's here and why her family's not come to see her. And so is that? What the hell was that? My, my neck is pricking. Did you hear that? Yeah. What is it? Something in the other room. Are you sure? Yeah. Is there actually anybody in the room then? That's what I said. Would that say Lee? Lee? Or leave? There's nobody here, mate. No. That was definitely a noise, wasn't it? What was it though? What did it, it, it almost sounded like a movement rustling up to see Aaron. So is that? What the hell was he Aaron? So is that? What the hell was he Aaron? So is that? What the hell? Weird feeling on the back of my neck. Almost like feathery touch on the back of my neck was old. Please come and talk to us if you're here. Don't be afraid. Are we getting close to the truth? Were, you, were you born here when it was a hospital? Sorry, that's me. Is that why you're in your, your, night, your night attire? Does it sound like it's above you or in the corridor? No, in the corridor. Is there somebody in the corridor? Can you come forward? Don't be afraid. There is somebody down here. Can you tell us why you're down here? What is this place to you? You might be able to see us, but we can't see you. We can't hear you if you're trying to talk to us, so we really need you to do something to let us know you're here. devices that you can interact with they won't hurt you they'll just let us know that you're about do you know you're dead are you aware of that you don't like us being in here, do something to let us know. What do you think it was used for? I don't know. I have got some material from Gina about the vaults, um, but I'm not going to read it until afterwards because of potential... Um, Suggestion. That's the word, thank you. Right, I've got a recording in my hand if anyone would like to walk towards me. You need to bring your energy right close. Come on. If you could talk to me and tell us anything you'd like to tell us and try and get your voice across if possible.
Did you send him all to see him all? I did, yeah. Greeny, yeah, 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 I saw that. Just come towards me, like a yeah, I saw that. Shot yeah. across here. Yeah, I did think, see that. I think I might have caught you on camera. Really? 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 It was fantastic. Tony and Lee both see green light anomalies appear around the wooden table. Unfortunately, the cam doesn't seem to pick them up. The team wonder if this is because of the infrared illuminators that the team use to see the night vision. It could be that this has caused the anomalies not to show on the camera footage. The fact that two investigators see these anomalies at the same time suggests that the anomalies are present. So it was only about the size of a 10 pence piece, it sort of shot at a funny angle. It's, but seeing it the oh, other I saw it, yeah, I saw it. But you think you might have captured it? I, I did say I was, I was filming you with the audio at the time, and that was in the bottom of the screen. I didn't say anything because I thought my eyes were playing tricks. Yeah, it came, it only shot for about three seconds and it sort of vanished before it got to the end of this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did see it, that. I, did, I just pulled it in my eyes. There is a possibility it's on cam, so I was pointing this at you with the audio at the time. So I said, come towards me, show your energy and bang, so it's... So is that you that we've just seen? Are you trying to manifest in a like? Is that how you show yourself? If it is, could you do that again for us, please? A little bit brighter? I know we're asking a lot, but we really want to prove to people that you still reside down here and you still exist, because there's a lot of people out there that don't believe that we carry on after we pass away. Ooh, I seen something again. Oh, yeah, I saw it. No, no yeah. I, I didn't see it on camera. Then. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. Like just a flash. Just a little flash. Just yeah. there. Yeah, it's cold. God, what's that then? That's that's rare. I ain't seen lights like that. Why are they coming to this table? That's brilliant. If that's you doing those lights in the middle of the table, there, can you do something again? Is there any way you can move one of these wine bottles? That's me jingling on my bit on my... Do you think we might be as well to put the rent pot there? If yeah, we can. do it, yeah, let's do it. If we get in there, get in there. Anything down your head, Mike? No. Go on, man. Come on, there's a device here now that how you have to do, you have to take that yourself, your energy back into that. Can you do it again for us and trigger it off for us? This is the noise. Come on. Oh, was that voice? No, I've no, just, I've just had like a, something move right close to me here. Right, oh, I've just seen it again. I've just seen it again. It's definitely something going off around this table. There is something going off there. Yeah. What is it? What table? Yeah, it's just a bunch of crates. And I've seen it again. Yeah? Just seen a blue speck of light at your foot. Right. There is stuff going on. <coughs> There's lights. We've seen anomalies with our eyes. So yeah, I've just seen a blue speck of light on the yeah. floor of your foot. Come on, anything's here then. What, what's... Can you get any stronger than that? Come on, this is brilliant what you're doing. I know we're asking a lot, but we really do need... What was that? Okay. Someone moving over there. I'll just oh no, it's not it's okay. We really do need you to try your hardest. I know we're asking a lot. Come on, let those lights go. You really make our night if you could show yourself to us any way you can. This is what we're here for, for you to interact with us. We don't mean you any harm. We're not here to send you away. We're just here to communicate with you. Did you used to live here? Or maybe you worked here? Is that someone's stomach? Wasn't no. mine. Sorry? Wasn't no, mine. No, wasn't. That was like a floor, a uh, chair breaking on the floor. Whereabouts? Oh, that, that was probably me just moving around me. No, 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 it wasn't. It sounded like a stomach rumble. It sounded, that's no, why no. I was, it was Rob, because it sounded like it was coming from down there. No, no. I heard it. Way past my left. So did you used to work here? Or live here? I've got a feeling it was a workplace for me. Or did you die here?
Lee's digital audio picks up a possible EVP after Rob asks, did you die here? Is this a response or just audio matrixing? You decide. Or did you die here? Or did you die here? minute now and then we'll be leaving so if there's anything you can do to let us know you're here please do it now oh whoa you. was wow. that a REM pod felt, yeah felt like a push in the back of my leg just as that REM pod off a little tiny wow if that was you thank you could you just do that again for us that's fantastic thank you very much did you not the craving it was on? No, no, we're nowhere near it. And that's exactly where them lights were earlier. Really. Go on, try again, we're going in a minute. Come on, use use you can use as much energy as you like if you want to take some from me, any of us in here, or some of our equipment, anything so you can just go and touch that little box again. And then we can go back and let everybody know that this is your place and you're down here. Go on, you need that little bit more. You've tried. Send us away, Happy. Just to prove that it was you. <clears throat> could you please... Did you say Happy? I don't know, I'd have to listen to Send us away, Happy. Just to prove that it was you, <clears throat> could you please? Did you say happy? I don't know, it sounded like happy. Just to prove that that was you that made those lights light up on that box on that table, could you do it again? Was that you that just said happy? Are you happy down here? If you are, fantastic, but please just make the lights go again for us. We have literally about 30 seconds left in here. Did you see a white shirt a misty thing? I didn't, not on the cam, no. Come on, just one last little thing for us. We really appreciate what you're doing, but just one more. Just so we can know for sure that it was you. If you could just go and touch that box again for me, I'd really... Oh, that's me, fuck. <laughs> Jesus, wait. <laughs> I actually think my heart stopped for a minute. <laughs> Go on, you're getting this going now, you've got this laughing. Go on, just use our energy. Come on, use all of us here now, we're all Come focusing on. for you. If you need that extra push, walk towards it, walk straight through that table. Come on, just for a moment, I've, I've very nearly joined you on the other side. <laughs> Come on, one more, just just one more for me. I know it sounds ridiculous that we keep asking you to do these things, but like I said, you might be able to see us, but we... Oh, yes! yes. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. And again, thank you. No, 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 thank you. I've got the cold shivers all through my body. So have I, mate. Is anybody else? Yeah. The complete, yeah. like someone's walking over your grave. Oh, my word. During the course of the investigation, the team set up this static camera down in the vault's corridor. This camera has left recording all investigation. The next bit of footage you'll see is the first half hour. You will see the team setting up the camera and then leaving the vaults. They lock the door and gate behind them. The camera records for 27 minutes and then the microphone picks up something that shocked the team when reviewing the footage. Take a listen. Right, we're going to have to close that. Close this though. <laughs> Aren't you all in all that? Yeah. I've, had, I've had to strip to my t-shirt. I've got to take my scarf off. I've got to take my scarf off. I've got to take my scarf off. Time for a team brief. Yep. What's in team? Tips in the store. It's money clock.
whole team are accounted for up in the base room. No one is down in the vaults at the time the voice occurs. Also note that the voice sounds very close to the can. This remains unexplained. Investigation.